A total of 803 COVID cases have been reported from Maharashtra in the last 24 hours. Now remember, the positivity rate in Maharashtra at present stands at 9.40% and the total number of active cases in the state stands at close to 4,000 cases. While the state government machinery says that there is nothing much of concern as of now, but we all need to be aware. And that is why we see that today health department officials are in talks with the health minister uh, who has had, had a meeting with the union health minister today while international passengers are being screened regularly at several airports including mumbai pune and nagpur the primary concern continues to be that of mumbai where the maximum number of active cases have been reported till now in the last 24 hours three deaths have been reported officials say that there isn't much of a spike in the rate of hospitalizations in the state neither has been there a spike with respect to demand of oxygen. So as of now, the government machinery says that while it is ready to take any increase in the load of COVID cases in case there is uh, some, the only concern officials say is that this particular variant of Omicron is highly transmissible, but not many hospitalizations are required. So from Maharashtra as of now, while the administration says that it is on high alert and that there will be a COVID mock drill that will be conducted on the 13th and 14th of this month to check if all the health machinery and the apparatus is well and working. As of now, there isn't a cause of concern, say officials. This is Vinaya Deshpande with video journalist Abhijit Sen Gupta from Mumbai. This is a big announcement for us right here on CNN News 18. A historic feat for our channel, a historic week for our channel as 50 weeks of news dominance. It's not just on linear television that CNN News 18 is number one. We are number one today on YouTube, number one on Facebook and number one on uh, the Park TRP ratings for, for linear television. The team that is bringing this together is a very, very young team. I, I think it's the fruit of the effort that we have put in. The way different people in this young team stepped up when the challenge presented itself, or when the opportunity presented itself, I think that was incredible. We want to thank all our viewers because I don't think we could have achieved this without your support, your love, and your commitment to the kind of journalism, the kind of news stories that we put out there.